Okay, we're good. We're live. We're live. <laughs> Hi. Welcome everybody to Adair Live. And today I am so honored to feature Parmelia Parham with Vibrational Healing. She's got such a cool name, Parmelia. 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 Where did that come from, Parmelia? Uh, it was my grandmother's name. So oh. it's actually very old French, Parmelia, if you want to put an accent on it. But. Yes, I do. <laughs> Okay. And uh, tell us, how did you get into vibrational healing and what a little bit is that exactly? Well, we all have vibration around us. Um, it's some people know of it as our aura uh, or it is our electromagnetic field. There's vibration everywhere in the world. And not a lot of people think about the fact that they actually do have these waves of vibration around them. But when I introduce it and I say, you know, think of when you meet people and sometimes you get a good vibe and you're like, wow. And other times you might not get such a good vibe. That's all vibration. It's all how it works. And how I was introduced to it um, nearly 20 years ago now was through a woman that I studied under when I lived um, in Alberta. And she taught the concept of our chakras, which are our spiritual vibrations that they went out with us, from us in waves, like just like our electromagnetic field. So I started studying as a student with her, learning more and more. I always had a feeling there was more going on in life than just what you see. And I just dug deeper and deeper into what I really felt was something I needed to learn and wanted to learn and just started growing it. And then when I moved to the island, I started teaching it about six years ago. Very so, cool. So you do cool. uh, something called an emotion code and chakra balancing and some other modalities as well. But today we're going to do a little bit of an emotion code technique. Yes. 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 So the emotion code was uh, created by a uh, by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Uh, anybody wants to find out more about him, they can Google the emotion code or Dr. Bradley Nelson. He was a chiropractor for many years in the States. And as he was seeing his patients, he realized that there was something more going on with them than just a physical ailment or an emotional ailment. So he determined these negative balls of energy, which he calls trapped emotions, are in us. And they show up because of living life, any traumas that we might have had, any illnesses that we might have had. So he came up with a process whereby we release these trapped emotions for better health. And it just fit with all of the other modalities and teachings and healing uh, modalities and, that I have been doing over the years. I thought, okay, this is perfect. I need to know more about this. So I studied um, online course uh, with Dr. Brad last fall. That's what everybody calls him, Dr. Brad. And um, one of the main components um, is what we're gonna talk about today. It's called muscle testing. Now, muscle testing is actually an applied science. It's a, it is a science. It's applied kinesiology. Shoot, I Any just lost you there. Uh-oh. Pramilia, I just lost you. Okay, sorry. Applied? Uh, applied kinesiology. Okay. So any for any silent science geeks that are out there, they'll probably know what that is. Uh, it is a science and it is tapped into universal energy. So just like we talked a few minutes ago about vibration and that we all have vibration around us, one of the reasons that we use muscle testing is because it will truly tell us what's going on in our bodies. So a lot of people might be familiar with the sway test uh, where you stand up, say your name, you automatically fall forward or yeah, if you say a name that's not yours, you'll automatically fall back. So it's your body that is tuned in to universal energy that knows what the truth is. And so that's why we use muscle testing in when we're trying to determine what this trapped emotion is. So I, for many years, used a pendulum. I'm sure lots of people have those. It's all the same thing. Um, other people, have, I'm putting my arm out here, have maybe seen the strong arm. So if the arm is strong, yes. Um, then that's your yes. And then if it goes weak, then that's your no. Um, and so if you see people in the grocery store holding a product with their arm out, that's what they're doing. They're trying to determine whether or not that's a good thing for them to eat. <laughs> that has happened in the past. 
So yes, yeah, so the, the, the system I use is my two fingers together. So the my yes or is when they're, they won't come apart. And then my no is they'll just flip right apart like that. So we could do a little test with you, Adira, if you'd like. Yeah, let's do it. And okay. in regards to trapped emotion, I mean, do we all have trapped emotions? Yes, we do. And I have a little chart here I can show you. Mm. Um, I don't know how clear this will come up. But okay. this is the chart that Dr. Bradley Nelson came up with. It's got 60 emotions. Okay. And so okay. when we're looking at a trapped emotion um, or one of these emotions that could be trapped in your body, right. um, we just ask the question. And again, we use the muscle testing to ask, okay, there's two. He made it really easy for those of us that are now practitioners. So there's two columns and there's six rows. So I could ask, is it in column A? Is it in column B? Is it an even row? Is it an odd row? Okay, well, let's try it. Okay, so one of the one of the components is that I do all the work, and you just get to sit there. But one of the things you need to do is give me permission to communicate with your subconscious. So that's what we're finding. We're finding these trapped emotions because your subconscious, just like universal energy, it's all tapped in. It's gonna your subconscious is gonna say yes. This is a trapped emotion. Okay. okay. Yes, you have my permission. All right, so I just like to make make them take a moment and take a deep breath and just become grounded. And then I'm going to test. Am I Adira? I'm getting a yes. Am I Pramilia? I'm getting a no. So I am Adira. I'm going to check to see if we have a trapped emotion. I'm getting a yes. And I'm going to ask, is it column A? Is it column B? Oh, it's column B. So is it an even row? It's an odd row. It's row one, it's row three, it's row five. Now in that block, there's five emotions. So I'm just gonna ask, is it is it one, two, three, four? It's row, it's four. So in uh, that uh, particular column uh, and that row, number four is call, is unsupported. Now you may not feel unsupported consciously, but somewhere, somehow it's happened in your lifetime where that negative ball of energy has got stuck in your body. Now, one of the things that we do to release that trapped emotion is we can use our fingertips because we have magnet at the end of our fingertips. We just swipe over our governing meridian, which is like below my chin over my crown chakra. We just swipe, I just, yeah, you don't have to do it. No, oh, I'm doing it, I'm you. So <laughs> um, I do have a magnet that I use, which I, um, for, forgot to pull out today. So I can use my, so we're just gonna swipe, get rid of that trapped emotion. And now I'm gonna check to see, did we release it? Did we release that trapped emotion of unsupported? And I'm getting a yes. So another question I ask, is there anything more we need to know about that trapped emotion? And I'm getting a no. So the process that I take people through is, can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, just depends how much comes up. And I would take them through I keep asking the question. I keep asking over and over until we got till I got to a point where I'm asking, is there another trapped emotion? And I'm getting a no. Hmm. So that was easy. And it's very easy. It's very easy. <laughs> I feel so light. No, I don't know. What am I supposed to feel? I, I mean um, okay, let me disengage and not be you anymore, because I <laughs> sometimes forget to do that. <laughs> All right. Am I a deer? I know. Am I Pramilia? Yes. All right. So a lot of people do feel um, lighter and uh, in, in any in one given setting, we can release anywhere from eight to 12 trapped emotions. So even though these are these are invisible, they're still negative balls of energy that are stuck in our physical body. And so you can you will have what we call a processing period for a couple of days, maybe even up to a week mm -hmm. where you might feel um, you might feel a little uh, more sensitive emotionally. Um, people that have partners, I kind of tell them that they could, they might want to warn their partner they might be a bit crankier, or you might, you know, want to cry more. You might have more vivid dreams. Uh, you might want to sleep more. You might want to sleep less. It, everybody's a little bit different, and it does. It doesn't. The processing period is different for everybody, and it doesn't show up for everybody. But I, we always let our clients know that so that they are aware of it. And do we know where that ball of emotion was stored in my body or? It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. We, re we released it. It's gone. Gone. We can let gone. it go. Totally gone. Unsupported. Not here anymore. 
Well, yeah. thank you so much for doing that. Just a really quick, tiny little um, snippet of the work that you do. And I feel if anyone is being drawn or called to see what might be holding them back in their emotional sense, uh, you would be a wonderful person to connect with because you're right. Sometimes our consciousness doesn't know exactly what is being exactly. recorded in our unconscious. And it, it works for everything, not just pain, emotional pain, physical pain. It works for addictions. Um, I'm helping my husband who's smoked for over 50 years to quit smoking. Um, I help somebody stop snoring. I help somebody who had um, been wearing a guard in their mouth for 20 years because they gr grind, were grinding their teeth at night. Yeah. That's not happening anymore. So, and I can also work on animals. Wow. Yeah, a lot of a lot of our rescue animals, a lot of our pets have been rescue rescue animals, yes. and they have trapped emotions. Yes, so. art definitely, I think, does. We just haven't um, invested in that because all the medical stuff we've been doing isn't working. So, That's, yeah, yeah. happy there. over. <laughs> I would love to. Thank you so much, Cornelia, for taking time out to do this. And uh, I'm, I will keep posted. I will put some comments below if I'm feeling anything different or if there's been some weight that's been lifted or any sort of thing that might come across my awareness over the next few days. I'll, I'll definitely let people know. Great. Great. Thanks. And that was only one trapped emotion. We didn't do a full session. So. Right. It would be more. But thank you so much for having me on your show. Um, yeah. It's been Fabulous. And I don't want to date this, but the wellness, I am dating it. The wellness expo is uh, a couple weeks away. I will post about that because uh, okay. Pamela will be there and you can meet her yeah. in person. And I'm doing a presentation as well on the emotion code. So come, come and check me out. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.